Kerry Williams was the type of player every coach would want to have on their team, and two Gettysburg teams were fortunate to have her on their rosters. She was a superb scorer and rebounder for the Bullets basketball team in the winter and followed in the spring as a steadfast defender for the women's lacrosse team. On the hardwood, the 5'9 Doylestown, Pennsylvania native, established herself as a consistent force in the Bullets front court. She averaged just under nine points and seven rebounds per game during her tenure and posted 15 career double-doubles. She finished as the school's second leading scorer behind classmate Martha Cave, and she was the school's leading rebounder with 486 boards. Twice, Gettysburg made the conference postseason, and the team went 14-3 against opposition from the MAC Southwest League. In 1983, Williams led Gettysburg to unprecedented heights. The squad recorded its first winning season in a decade with a 15-6 record, finished first in the Southwest League of the MAC, and finished as the MAC Southern Division runner-up. Williams played an integral role in the finish, averaging 12.9 points per game and a team-high 9.7 rebounds per game. Her impact on the lacrosse field came on the defensive end, where she held down a starting spot from her freshman year on. During that period, Gettysburg was one of the top defensive teams in the Middle Atlantic Conference, pacing the league in at least, in at least goals allowed three times. The shining moment of her lacrosse career came in 1981. Gettysburg topped the MAC standings with a 6-0 record, including a 10-9 decision over arch-rival Franklin and Marshall. The Bullets, <laughs> the Bullets finished third in the AIAW Regional Tournament to earn their first trip to the national tournament. After a setback to Wheaton in the opening round, the Orange and Blue won their next two contests to finish fifth in the nation. She was a catalyst during the run, scoring a goal against Wheaton and earning all championship tournament accolades. In four years of varsity lacrosse, she led the Bullets to 28 wins against just 17 losses. Most of those setbacks came at the hands of much larger Division I and Division II opponents as Gettysburg lost to only two Division III opponents during her four-year career. Williams graduated from Gettysburg with a BA in business in 1984 and joined the workforce soon after as an accountant. She currently works as a certified public accountant and tax collector in her hometown of Doylestown, where she resides with her two sons. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce Carrie Williams. Thank you. Thank you for such a lovely introduction. This is truly an honor. Thank you to the Orange and Blue Club and the Athletic Hall of Honor Committee, the Athletic Department, and everyone here at the college that has made this just such a lovely weekend, despite that rain, those blessings coming down. So it was all fine and lovely. Thank you. Congratulations to my fellow inductees and to those gifted athletes that have gone before us. It is an extreme honor and privilege for me to join your ranks. It's always a gift to return here to Gettysburg. I first stepped foot on this campus 30 years ago, not knowing, as most freshmen don't know, how it's all going to pan out. Uh, I played sports in high school, and I just wanted to continue that here at Gettysburg and was fortunate to have the opportunity. My first attempt at being a bullet was to go out for the field hockey team. Uh, that is not one of the reasons I'm standing here tonight, however. Um, one of the gifts of playing sports is humility. And I was truly humbled that first season as uh, I learned what it felt like to sit on the bench. The truth is that Coach Lois Bowers had a very talented squad um, my freshman year. And the next fall, the fall of 1980, they would go on to win the Division III national title. So that was just awesome. 
Uh, but the reward for me in sticking out uh, hockey tryouts was the person that I would meet one night after practice in the servo line. She would become my housemate, teammate, a lifelong special friend, and a very talented and highly successful coach here at the college, Coach Carol, Cantel Carol Daly Cantelli. I'm so happy that Carol and her husband, Mike, are here tonight, as well as the other members of my posse. Uh, my roommate of four years, Mary Pat Milak Ferenza, who was a swimmer in her own right. Uh, my housemate, Leslie Cole, who was the campus DJ, and a tried and true fan of her housemates. Uh, Sue Selby, who for some reason chose to be the manager of the men's lacrosse team and not the women's. Okay, we know how to figure that one out. Um, and my dearest uh, hometown and childhood friend, Nina Stack, who came to join us for this evening. So how did it start for me? Uh, amazingly, I really was, um, I guess what you call a walk-on. Uh, the battlefield coaches that um, runs that Coach Bowers had sent us on got us in great shape. And, and hockey, my freshman year, was a lot of fun. And like I said, the women were very, very talented and, and gifted at hockey. And, and I was just ready to play some basketball. So I was, I was thrilled to go out for the basketball team. Um, coach Lee was my coach for freshman and um, sophomore years. And then she worked us hard and turned the reins over to Coach Kay Higgins. Coach Higgins was tenacious in her approach to the game. She knew basketball inside and out and pushed us all to reach our fullest potential. Our team standings improved steadily under her guidance. I had the privilege of playing with some very talented women who I'm also proud to join this evening in the Athletic Hall of Honor, Susan Marshall, Denise Babinchak, Karen Tesmer, and Barb Taylor, all members of the 1983-84 basketball team that's being honored tonight. I'm not going to go into the fact that they waited till I graduated to, to do that, but I'm very, very proud of them and thrilled that I was able to play alongside of them. Because the truth is, that it's not just the playing ability um, that you bring to a sport, it's the talent that you're surrounded by, both that of your teammates and your coaches. A and I was gifted um, to be surrounded by that here at Gettysburg. Um, I was also blessed to have one of the greatest fans of all time, and that was my father. Basketball was the sport that he loved the most. It was also the sport that he thought he knew the most about. He thought he knew more than the coaches. Uh, he came to every game. He came to every scrimmage. He would have come to every practice if he'd been allowed. <laughs> and while he may have been the coach's nightmare, and at times mine on occasion, I know that his heart was in the right place. He cheered all the girls on our team, and his post-game critiques, coaching recommendations, and munchies were his way of celebrating the team and our efforts. Basketball was awesome, but nothing compared to spring in Gettysburg. It's, it's so beautiful. Romances are blooming. Sororities and fraternities are pledging. Um, you're more comfortable with your surroundings at the school. And, and just lacrosse. Lacrosse in the spring is just so awesome. You know, it's that game. Back in our day, there were no boundaries, and it was just so free-flowing. There was also no equipment, uh, so it could get a little dangerous here and there. Just your lacrosse stick and, and the field, and it, it was great. And we were at center stage out here on Memorial Field. You couldn't help but notice if a lacrosse game was going on, and it, it was just wonderful. Um, Coach Bowers was once again at the helm, and I, I got to play alongside my buddy, Carol Daly. So that, that was wonderful. Um, we traveled to Florida. We reached playoffs, but nothing um, paralleled the experience of going to Penn State to, to the national tournament. That was just certainly a highlight of our lacrosse season. So thank you, Gettysburg. Thank you for an awesome experience.
the traveling, camaraderie, and competitiveness of those years were some of the most rewarding in my life. I built great friendships and learned leadership, le learned leadership skills that, that helped me as a parent and a wife, a colleague, an elected official, and a friend. My dad had always said to me, these will be the best years of your life, and they, they truly were. And um, athletics certainly enhanced that experience for me. I'm thankful to both my mom and dad for my college education here at Gettysburg. My dad passed away three years ago, and I know if he was here, he would be beaming. I'm sure he would have done something over the top, and I probably would have been embarrassed, but I know that uh, it was just how he would have shown his pride. My mom's equally bountiful, yet much more quiet pride of my accomplishments is a personal joy of mine. Unfortunately, due to health reasons, she couldn't join me this evening. I now have the good fortune uh, to fully understand, though, my parents' pride in watching my two lovely sons as they've embraced athletics. Um, Shane is a freshman at Northeastern University, and he enjoyed a very successful high school basketball career, while Dylan has explored um, a variety of sports, most recently rugby and track and cycling. In the last year and a half, uh, my sons prepared for their college experience, and, and as we were going through that process, I was consistently reminded of the extraordinary experience I had here at Gettysburg. My athletic career was at the heart of that. I'm grateful and honored for this award. Thank you.